Oh, the flashlight's on. Fuck me, it's bright. What are we getting up to over here? So I've just spent the day scaling drawings, figuring out the prices um, and everything like that. Don't need to know that. So, so basically, these are the elevations here. So let's say we've got southwest or uh, northwest elevation here. Look, so we've got northwest elevation. Now we've got this is the ground floor plan here, but this is what we actually scale off of. So we've got down here. Look, north is this way. So this is north. That looks like a Z. <laughs> it's, yeah, is that right? So you've got north here. East is here. West is here. South. Just on the whole never each shredded week. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you've got north up here. So we've got northwest is this section here. So we go back here and... Here's your northwest here. It says this side here, yeah. So we've got northwest here. Southwest will be southwest from there to there. So we've got this is southwest. So this is the this will be the front of the building, and then we've got southeast. So we've got south east. So that would be this elevation here. Then we've got north east, which will be the back, which is this section here. So there's not me uh, they haven't given me many measurements at all, really. So I've had to scale everything. So I've got. This is just a scale rule. Oh, I went to Camp Black, see what they give me a couple for free. <laughs> I won't say why. Uh, so up in this corner here, look. Right, we've got scale. From drawings, scale. 150 and 1, 100. So, on the scale, You've got your marks, here's one, 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 one hundred here, look. So for instance, you use, your typical door is gonna be 2.1. So if you get a bit closer, so you can see. So you've got, oh, get bang on there, come on. So you've got five, 10, 15, 20, that's two meters. And then you've got an extra one line. So that's two meters 100 for that door. So I know that the front door is two meters 100 from damp. Now, from... Oh, your finger looks nasty on the camera. Oh, what, where I whacked it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so from lintel to the underside of the next, uh, that will be a... Window, you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got 900 here, two meters, 100. These doors are bigger than the front door. I put a, I put a rule through here just to make sure they're all at the same height, which they were. And then I've measured two meters, 500 from damp to the lintel. And then I've done the same with everything else. So that's all my window heights sorted. I know what I know now I know I now know where all my heights are for all the windows and doors. Now the next page we've got oh, the confusing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's not as, I like to highlight everything. Just it make lets me see things a lot clearer. So I've highlighted pink for the 
inner and outer leaf here. Green is steels. Um, they're not all steels. I've noticed that this one here is a timber beam, but everything else is steel beams. Um, so, <clears throat> with all the internals, most of the measurements are there, but the only there's only a couple. I can't. The one that straight off my head that I remember was this one here. It's this wall here. Now I can scale it, but usually you can find something to work off of to find the measurement for the wall. Um, and I found that it gave me the measurement from this point here. So here, look, is actually this part of the wall here to the inside of this skin here. And I've got four meters, 280 mil. Now, Obviously, that's not the length of that wall. So then I found from inside to inside, there to there, I've got one meter and 20 mil. So I now know that from this point to this point is that measurement, take away that measurement, gives me three meters, 260. Um, and then I went around marking all the measurements from here, here, from here to here, um, from here to here, and so on. I've got a few little nibs that I've had to scale rule. Um, that was my internals done. I then, I think, did I just talk about the steels, didn't I? I measured all the steels, but yeah, so I've also got some extractor fans in here. I've just marked out. I don't know if I have to install them or if they're going to cut them out after. I'll have to ask Kieran about that. I usually highlight movement joints as well, but there's none on here, which I'm pretty sure there should be. Usually you have them where, I don't know, like a wall, like a dog leg. So it should be one probably here, one probably here, usually on a long flank like that somewhere. Uh, I think about six meters maybe. Um, there should probably, th this drops off here. See this, this steel beam here. This drops off on the next lift and this drops off on the next lift. So really you should probably want another movement joint in here or in here. What's you won't. Well, basically, it's where you create a joint that isn't connected by mortar. It's uh, you get slip ties that let um, the wall move slightly. It's only, it's not a lot, but it's it's just certain points of a house. If it's all solid and it's got no movement to go anywhere, then something's going to crack. But um, over here. So over here, this is the next lift. This is the first first floor. So this was the ground floor, which is what is coming off of the block and beam that I've done, that you've seen me do. This one here is the first floor. Now, it doesn't give you many measurements at all because it has all the measurements you need here. Um, so for instance, for this corner here, from this measurement from here to here will be where this wall here look so you've got from here to here is actually from here to here but this this dog leg here is this here so then that will follow from here up to uh, this is where the steel comes into play you lay on top of the steel so you'll come across here and this will be your corner point here. So this corner here is now this corner here. So your measurement from this point to this point is this point to this point. And that will give you your measurement. So say you're pricing up and you need to know um, your linear meterage because 
I'll get onto that in a minute. But when you need your lin, uh, when you need to price, you need to know the know the linear meetage of the work you're doing times the height, which gives you your per square meter for pricing, basically. Um, now to get your heights, I think that's pretty much it. We've obviously got a few more steels. I've got a, I've got um, a steel post going in this corner, which I've highlighted in green again. Um, steels here. I'm not actually too sure about what's going on here. That can't be block work because I will have nothing to build on. Uh, oh, I've missed a steel here. There's a steel going here, um, but that still gives me nothing to build on top of. So I'm assuming that will just be my normal block work, and they'll be doing something in timber maybe. I have to speak to Kieran about that again. But on this next lift, I've only got the outer leaf round here and I've literally just got this wall here and these walls here. <clears throat> um, right, where was we? Anyway, so here we have the sections. This gives you your heights to go to. Now, obviously, so block and beam is, can you see from there? Can you get in close? My hand's hurting. Your hand's hurting, is it? Right, so this is what I've built up to so far, underside of beam. My block work at the minute is to here on the outside. Now, I have to, I'll be, um, I'm going to be doing the retaining wall first to get it out of the way so that nothing here is in the way when I'm trying to get gear over to the retaining wall. But once I've done the retaining wall, I'll then build up um, the outside up to one course a block higher than the inside first. So all the outside will then be one course a block higher than the block and beam. Then that lets me hook my corner blocks off of the outside and then set all my internal walls, set everything out. Um, it's much easier that way. So my heights from, cause this is, this was, this height here was for me to price. So I'm, I'm giving the price from top of block and beam to the finished floor level or finish close to finish floor level from there to there. Then, but this height here is actually the height I need to finish at for my joists to go on and for my steels to go on. The steels are sitting at the same height as the um, as my height to get to. Um, there's nothing else saying on these drawings anyway that there's any um, steels going in at any different heights. I will need to just confirm it because there's not much to go by by these drawings. Um, <clears throat> So we're at, so this, now we're going to go up to the next lift. Now you can see there's a slight slant here. So yeah, it's given me this here, but you just need to make sure that you're not confusing this part here as the front of the house because it's not. The actual front of the house is this point here, this, this here. This is actually giving you, so you've got the sitting area here, tells you there, and there's your stairs coming down here. So on your drawing, we've got on the um, first floor, we've got the sitting area here, and there's your stairs going that way. So that will be your sitting area there. You can't really see from there, babe. My hand is hurting. Yeah, I'll take over for a bit, hang on. So we've got sitting area here, so this wall here is actually this wall here. This part here is this wall here. So what I've done is drawn a line through to here. My block work, from what I can see from these drawings, finishes at this point here. So, and the same down that end. So we've got, so I've drawn a line through again. 
trying not to zoom in on my phone. Um, so yeah, I've taken this point to this point, which I've got three meters. And at the back, um, this point here is, yeah, this point here is this point here, which is the furthest point back. So again, from there to there, two meters, 750. So in all, we've got a 250 mil drop from the front of the house to the back. Um, this is all I know so far from these drawings. Um, any of you, you younger lads trying to learn how to read a drawing and stuff like that, this is for you. Um, what I do is, uh, now that I've done this, because I can scale off of these, um, I'll... I don't want to use this one on site. I'll get an A3 one printed. Um, I was going to get one printed myself, but I was going to get a printer today because my ex has got mine, so I haven't actually got my printer. So I went to go and get a printer from Curry's. They didn't have any in stock. I found my laminator, but, but anyway, anyway, um, Kieran's going to get me some A3 ones printed off because they're easier to handle when you're working off of them rather than lumping these big things about. I'll bring them home, transfer any measurements that isn't on the drawing onto the drawing, um, highlight everything again like I have here and then I'll laminate it and keep it in like a box um, just to keep it in good condition. And yeah, that's pretty much... I'm, he's dreaming. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, stop now. Oh, he stopped. He must not have talked about him. But yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, hope this helps anyone trying to learn to read drawings. Um, I hope I didn't make it look too hard. <laughs> I, I'm self taught. Um, the I'd never got taught how to read drawings. Um, your people that you work for tend to not want to let you learn too much like that because it gives you too much knowledge. Knowledge is more money. Um, there's a lot to that can go wrong as well. So you need to really go over and over and over a drawing. It's better to spend a day at home anyway, going over a drawing. And yeah, that's it.